veterinary medicine. Let's talk about these guys. We hate them, right? They suck. But here's the ones I hate the most. They don't have an arrow. So let's digest and talk about how you know what's on and what's off. And honestly, there's a huge learning curve. I would not recommend buying the ones that look like these. And I'm not going to name the brand. Just don't buy them. Okay, so let's take a look at the three-way stopcock I do not like. So the one that I do like, it has a white mechanism and only one arrow, making it significantly easier for you to troubleshoot. This has three arrows and the blue mechanism. Here's what you need to know in case you're about to tune out of this video, but I'm gonna show you in a demonstration right after this. Each one of these arrows means open. So that's right. All three of these ports are now open. Let's go ahead and do a demonstration. Okay, so I've removed all the caps. Let's just say this is going to a chest tube or into an abdomen or a cavity. You're doing thoracocentesis, something like that. This is going into something. And over here, we're gonna go ahead and hook up a syringe. The syringe, by the way, has some water in it. So here we go. So we're gonna have attach. Now watch, all three are open. So you have water that is coming out of both the center and the end, making it very complex because that's not what you want to do. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn it one more time. Let me hold on to my syringe. So now let's take a look, okay? So basically what we have is on, on, on. But there's nothing down here, which means now we have direct. And we go ahead. It's only going to come out that way. Correct. So now let's turn it one more time because this thing can spin all the way around. Now what do we think is going to happen, right? We're on, we're on, and we're on. Let me get it a little bit more centered. Okay, so on, 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 off. I can't do anything. Look at that. I'm pushing. Nothing is happening. Yeah, because we're off to the syringe. All right, so now let's go ahead and flip it around again. We're now, about, now back to the original position. It should be coming out of both holes. Again, depending on force and which way you angle this stupid thing. Yeah, so again, if we want to, let me drop syringe one more time of water. All right, so again, if we only want between here and there, we are gonna spin this bad boy around to just that, right? That makes sense because now we're on, on, and on, but there's nothing down here, so that doesn't count. By the way, you see the little hole? So there, that tells you you're on down here, but there's nowhere for it to go. So that seals it up. There you go, and I can suck air in, push out, suck air in, push out. And again, if we wanna go the other way, let's just say we want only on to this other side here, boop, boop, right? Off, on, on, there you go. I hope this helps you.